A very warm welcome to the Edinburgh Academy Nursery and Junior School. My name is Gavin Calder and it's been my privilege to be the head teacher here for the last 11 years. Behind me is our junior school building, a place offering a really modern 21st century education, but where we still hold dear those traditional values that I would hope you would expect of a school such as ours. Most importantly, it's a place where we want children to develop a love of learning. And when I see the children coming in every morning, I can see from the looks in their faces that they are coming in, yes, to do their best, yes, to learn, but most importantly, to have fun as they do it. In this short tour, you'll meet many of the key individuals who make up the educational package in our junior school. But of course, for many of our children, their journey starts in our purpose-built nursery. Built at the end of the last decade, you just have to walk in the doors to feel a true love and passion for education. My name is Christine Laston and I am delighted to be Acting Departmental Head of the Nursery here at Edinburgh Academy. The nursery is a very special place filled with love, warmth, adventure and learning experiences which help establish the very foundations from which a child's academic learning journey begins. We have a team of tremendously experienced, passionate early years practitioners and primary teachers who help guide and nurture our children to be curious, motivated and very, very happy as they play and learn more about the world around them. Early years and its practice is the most important time of a child's school life. Here at Edinburgh Academy Nursery, we work together as a team to create a happy, bright, positive, nurturing, motivating environment where learning is fun. We cater for the whole child, where we take a holistic approach and very much see your child's learning as being child-led. That is freedom with guidance. Once you leave your child at nursery in the morning, they begin the adventure of their learning journey for the day. Through play, children are developing language skills, making sense of their emotions, developing their creativity, social and intellectual skills. Play helps to nurture imagination and gives a child a sense of adventure. Behind every play activity is a learning intention. We believe in nursery. Play is the cornerstone for future learning. Hello and welcome to Denham Green. My name is Caroline Petrie and I'm Head of Early Years here at the Edinburgh Academy. We have six classes in our Early Years department, three primary ones and three primary twos. Ensuring a smooth transition from nursery into primary one is paramount for us. We very much believe in a play-based curriculum where play is at the heart of all our learning, whether that be through interactive activities and literacy, numeracy, or using our fabulous surroundings. In the primary three and four years, the children are given many opportunities to develop the very important life skills of negotiation, compromise and turn-taking. And we do this by giving the children a broad and balanced experience at school, using play, core learning and outdoor learning as our tools to guide them along. We're very, very lucky here at the Academy and that we have a wonderful support network around us of learning assistants and specialist teachers who all bring their expertise and vast knowledge to support the children in their learning. We have Mrs Davina Bowers in our team who has a wide ranging experience of forest schools and beach schools amongst many other aspects of outdoor learning. And so all of the children in the middle primary are going to enjoy exploring their learning in the outdoors every week. Hello, my name is Emma Thompson and I'm the head of the upper primary here at the Edinburgh Academy Junior School. The children in the upper years are engaged in a fun, exciting and broad curriculum. The children are encouraged to develop a growth mindset focusing on effort, perseverance and learning to embrace challenge. There's a strong sense of community here at the Edinburgh Academy Junior School and the buddy system is an excellent example of this. Children in the upper years are paired 
with a younger child who they play with, support and care for. At school we do buddies and I really love it because you get your buddy and you get matched up with a buddy and you kind of get to know them so like yeah so it's kind of to help you and your buddy get closer and you write cards to them and you every week you you meet up with your buddy whether you've got an older buddy or a younger buddy and yeah and it's so much fun because you do art and craft together coloring and i just really enjoy it learning occurs in various forms and the one-to-one -one ipad deployment ensures that children keep abreast of technological skills such as coding a sphere is a robot that you can either just play with it generally or you can program it to do specific things. Currently we're just doing a simple code where it should, the sphere should run forward and then it should rotate and run backwards. Digital homework is set regularly and through the use of the app Shobi, teachers can assign tasks both within school and remotely. In their final year of the junior school, the P6 children are involved in a range of special experiences, including residential school trips, the Primary 6 musical, P6 Adventure Day, and at the end of the year, the children work together in teams to create an eco-friendly, sustainable business as part of their enterprise project. Here at the Edinburgh Academy, we are really proud of the opportunity all of our children have to perform. Our very youngest children in nursery, primary one and two, are encouraged to take to the stage and perform as part of our series of nativities. There they gain skills in confidence and performance that go beyond singing and acting. Each year, every child in every class will have the opportunity to take to the stage. And this culminates in primary six, in our primary six musical. Again, a really high class professional performance but every child is able to express themselves and to take part. The Clipe by J.K. Annans. Jenny told my mommy that I got a pammy, that I got a pammy at the school the day. For fidgeting and fiking, it wasna to my liking, and neither was the extra dog that kept me free my play. If Jenny hadn't a clipe it, I wouldn't have been near flipe it. When Mither turned and flight at me, just like it was a dog, I front it that her John could misbehave like Don. She gave clean off the handle sign and bat me on the lug. Hi there, my name is Ritz Sipkowski. I'm the science specialist here at the Edinburgh Academy Junior School. This has been um, my science lab for the last, well, it's going to be 15 years now. And I specialize in teaching primary one to primary six. And I sometimes even go over to the nursery to teach them about day and night and how the earth revolves around the sun. Each year they'll cover a different area of the curriculum so that as they go up the junior school they learn more and more about how the world works, how they work, and what their place is in this world around us. A big welcome to the Edinburgh Academy Art Room. We have a beautiful art room which was flooded with natural light. Each week, the children will use the elements of art in their lessons. They will learn about pattern and tone and colour and shape. The children learn about a variety of different artists each week, such as Picasso, Peplo, Mondrian and Matisse. The children learn about the techniques that they are famous for and they incorporate them into their art and designs. Each week we make cross-curricular links and we try to link the art lessons to the learning that the children do in their classrooms. So when the children are learning about the Vikings, they make Viking runes which they turn into jewellery and they wear them with great pride when they have their Viking experience day. I am Madame Irving or Senora Irving to the P6s. I'm the Modern Languages Specialist here at the Junior School. Pupils at the Edinburgh Academy Junior School start learning languages in the nursery. We tie in with topics that they're doing in the class at the time. Really just we want to make the language as relevant as possible and as fun and dynamic as possible. My name is Fiona Penman, I'm Head of Music here at Edinburgh Academy Junior School. Welcome to our wonderful department. 
music has a really fantastic high profile in the school, as well as having class music and having instrumental lessons available to the pupils, we also have a number of musical groups. We have two very large choirs, primary three and four choir and primary five and six choir. We also have a number of instrumental groups. We have a strings ensemble, a wind ensemble, two recorder groups and a number of other smaller ensembles also. Welcome to the Junior School Library. We're so lucky to be surrounded by books. Accelerated Reader is a thing we have in this school where before you go to the library for the first time, you take a quiz on what level of books you should be reading. The reason we take this quiz is so that we're not reading too tricky of books and so that we take forever to read them and so we're not uh, reading too easy books because then we won't, have a, we won't be reading them well enough. Well, recently I've read Anne of Green Gables and it was really nice and also because of Winn-Dixie, which is written by an American author. My favourite series of books is probably Harry Potter, which is quite a chunky book, and also Diary of a Wimpy Kid because it's quite easy to read and it's very fun. Within a ball throw of the junior school building is our fantastic sports facility. In there, we have squash courts, we have a full-size sports hall, we have a gymnasium, and we've got my own personal favourite, an unrivalled climbing wall. In addition to our indoor spaces, we also have acres of green space, which we utilise to the maximum in both outdoor education and sports. Hello, my name is Belinda Appleton and I'm one of the PE teachers here at the Junior School. I also run the Girls Game programme across the Junior and Senior School, so I get to see all our pupils from nursery all the way through to our under 18s, which I really enjoy. Today you've joined us for a Primary 4 hockey session. We try and offer lots of different sports, especially at this age. The more sports they can do, the better is our philosophy behind it. So the girls are doing hockey today, but we do lots of netball, we're introducing rugby, and and we just try and do as many different things as we possibly can. We also have the P lessons that go alongside their games programme. So the primary one to threes have a double period um, every week. They have two sessions and then the primary four to six have the single PE and then they have their games afternoon as well. So plenty of sport and we just try and make it as varied and as exciting and interesting as we possibly can. I, I have just started hockey in P4 and my favourite bit about it is attacking because it's the most challenging. Hello, my name is Rob Tyrrell. I'm a class teacher here at the Junior School but I'm also helping to develop the school's grounds. We've been slowly but surely turning the school's grounds into a school farm. We've got lots of apples, pears, plums, raspberries, blueberries and we've got chickens now as well. We would like the children to have a really good outdoor education and we would like them to become more connected to the world, to the earth, to the trees, and to become really good stewards and guardians of the planet as they get older. 18 months ago, about a year and a half ago, a boy in P5 said, hey, can we maybe get chickens here at the school? We thought, yeah, why not? Let's give it a go. We have this nice, beautiful land behind the Astro here. So it all started back then. We got some recycled material from another 
Academy family. And so the kids just really love kind of being here. The idea that, you know, they can kind of help the chickens and, and the welfare that they've provided the chickens gives them that kind of just feeling of responsibility as well. So they have to look after the feed, obviously, and make sure it's lidded. They have to make sure the water's topped up um, each day and the water's clean. So this idea that there are living things kind of counting on them um, is a big deal. It's a big part of the learning here at the school. I was really proud to be on the eco committee. We, while we were on the eco committee, we built the hen house, we fed the chickens, and we collected the eggs as well. We also planted fruit trees last year to make an orchard. The P6 children are in charge of recycling. Even though we keep getting our green flag, we keep trying to be even more eco than we have before. My favourite thing about Edinburgh Academy is there's lots of children here and lots of different opportunities to make friends and the teachers are really kind and help us learn.